All right, so we're solving radical equations today. A couple key steps, and you may have done these before. So in general, I like to just kind of set up what's basic strategy here. So isolate the radical. Get it all by itself on one side of the equation. Then how do you get rid of a radical? Well, you square both sides, okay? So square both sides to eliminate it. Solve for the remaining variable. Hey, make sure you go check your answers, because when you do things like square both sides, you can introduce extraneous solutions. So let's do a couple examples here. So again, let's isolate this. So let's subtract that 5 over. So that would be square root 2x plus 1 equals 5, right? 10 minus 5. Square both sides. So 2x plus 1 equals 25. Now, basic little algebra equation. So let's subtract that over. 2x equals 24. Divide. Hey, x equals... 12. And of course, we can go check it, right? Maybe go plug it in. 2 times 12, 24 plus 1 is 25. Square root 5, 5 plus 5, hey, that's 10. That works. How about this guy? A little different situation is going to pop up. So x plus 3 equals x plus 1. Square both sides. Notice what's going to happen. When you square this side, you have to multiply it out. So we now get x plus 3 equals x squared plus 2x plus 1. Again, don't make a silly mistake here and just say x squared plus 1. It's x plus 1 times x plus 1. So you're going to get that middle term. Hey, this is a quadratic now. Let's set that equal to 0 and solve. So x squared, let's see if I subtract that x over, that would be plus x, subtract my 3, minus 2 equals 0. So factors of negative 2 add to make 1. So 2 and negative 1. So x plus 2 x minus 1 equals 0, so x could be negative 2 or positive 1. This is where we go have to plug in, let's check them. So if I go plug negative 2 in, well negative 2 right here plus 3 would be 1, square root of 1 minus 1 is 0, does that equal negative 2? No, so that does not work. How about 1? 1 plus 3 is 4, square root of 4 is 2, 2 minus 1 equals 1, Hey, that is a valid solution, so go check your answers. How about something like this guy? Got a rational exponent like from our last lesson. Now the lesson itself, I think, introduces some weird things the way they do it. I, you know, do what you have to do to get through the lesson, but here's how I would do a problem like this. Let's treat this like a radical. Same thing, bring this over, but I'm, let's rewrite this actually as a radical. So I've got x plus 3 squared, right? Cube root of that equals, let's see, add 5 over equals 4. Now, how are you going to get rid of a cube root? Let's cube both sides, okay? So I'm going to cube both sides. So this is now x plus 3 squared equals 4 cubed, which is 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. Now, solve like normal. Let's do the square root. When you do that, you have a plus or minus over here. So x plus 3 equals plus or minus 8. Now, x equals negative 3 plus 8 and negative 3 minus 8. So I would get 5 and negative 11. And again, you can go check those, make sure they work. But we do get two possible solutions on that one. Okay, what if we've got different exponents on the two sides of the equation like this? two-thirds and one-thirds. Again, those are both exponents, okay? Well, let's raise both sides to something that's going to get rid of one of these exponents. So, for example, if I raise this to the third power, you've got to do the same thing to both sides, and to the third power, let's rewrite that, see what that looks like. So this would now be x plus 1 squared, right? Or to the 2 times 3, 6 over 3, which is 2 and 3 times 1 third, so just 9x plus 1. Hey, notice how much nicer that is. Now, you're still going to have a quadratic, so I, I can't square root this side, because then I'd have a radical here. That, right, I'd be going the wrong direction. So let's multiply this out. So x squared, 2x plus 1, equals 9x plus 1. Again, quadratic, so let's get everything on the same side. x squared, subtract that over, minus 7x. Uh, 1 minus 1 0, so equals 0. So x times x minus 7 equals 0. Just factor that x out. 
So x could be 0 or negative 7. And let's go plug them in. Again, got to check, right? So 0 plus 1 to the 2 thirds. So 1 to the 2 thirds is 1. 0 plus 1 to the 1 third. 1 to the 1 third is 1. So 0 definitely works. Negative 7. Negative 7 plus 1. So that would be negative 6. So basically negative 6 to the 2 thirds power. And if we put negative 7 in here, we get negative 63 plus 1. We get negative 62 to the 1 third power. Now we could go check this. In fact, let's, we could square this side, I guess. So we would have negative 6 squared is 36 to the 1 third power equals negative 62 to the 1 third power. Well, clearly those are not the same, so that one does not work, okay? So there's some basic strategies for you. Again, important to check your answers, make sure they work, but work through things and have a great lesson.